Hello guys and welcome to the season review of the third season of the Gateshead FC FM20 Mobile Career Mode, long title there. Um, obviously a lot of it's done on the Wikipedia page that I'm creating, but these are the stats of the players. So we've got Harry Campbell and Lacey getting above 40 appearances for the guys. Uh, obviously putting in a stellar performance, Harry Campbell this season and only letting in 31 goals, which is very impressive. Obviously, Eddie Brown getting the most goals. Probably his one and only season for Gateshead, but he'll probably hold the record for the most goals in a season. 33 goals, and new signing, Yurik Galantes, getting 14 goals as well, mostly free kicks. Uh, as you can see, various players there. Connor Thompson had a very good season and all. He'll probably get player of the season. Uh, sign of the season will probably go to Yurik Galantes. And uh, young player of the season, they'll probably go to Eddie Brown. Uh, I haven't actually done them yet, but we'll, I'll be showing you them on the uh, on the Wikipedia page later on when I bother to do that. Um, we've had quite a lot of players play for us this season. Uh, even bloody Nelson managed to score, uh, play two games and score a goal for us, even though he spent most of the year in the reserves. Uh, he's unfortunately retiring at the end of the season, as is Nicky Deverix, or Devedix, sorry. Uh, but he scored one and assisted four this season, so it's one of them. Um, obviously, we had a few players out on loan. Uh, Darman, who had a very good season. Uh, FC Halifax, scoring eight times. Uh, and he is a centre-back, so he had a very good season. Uh, Jacob Janssen had a, also a very good season for Aldershot. 18 goals in 47 games. Uh, Musila uh, played for Fylde, 17 goals. Pai, uh, he had a, a peer. Uh, went halfway through the season, six goals, so he's had also had a good one. Uh, Schneller can play up the whole of the mid, uh, the middle, so he, I think he was playing centre mid for Fylde, so he got three and 31. Uh, Sean didn't really play that much, and I'm not sure whether he'll be staying much next season, but he's got potential, so I might leave him in the reserves instead of sending him out on loan, depending on our wage budget next season. Uh, Whelan played six games for us and then went to Boston and did pretty well there, to be fair. Uh, we'll actually have a look at the reserves. Uh, we want to see how well they did. So as you can see from that, they didn't have the best season. Uh, they actually finished down in ninth, which wasn't the greatest year for them. Seven wins, five draws, ten losses, 29 goals for and 37 against. Minus eight goal difference and only 26 points. But Barnsley actually came away with a win on goal difference. Uh, Sunderland, who have won it for the past two years, only got fourth, so that's not good for them. But obviously, what everyone cares about, we'll go back to the first team. Uh, as you know, this is the that's the formation we usually play, but we had a decent season. Obviously, Dartford no knocking us out of the FA Trophy in the semi-finals. Um, it just wasn't really good enough from the lads, but what else can you do? National League, uh, we go up with 97 points, along with Morecambe, who beat Eastleigh in the... Um, what's it called? In the playoff final, I'm not exactly sure where the fixtures are, but um, Eddie Brown gets uh, most goals in the season, 31, and Yurik is in 11th. I'm not sure if we have anybody else here. No. Um, but we have assists. Mika Schreurers is a joint with Dulwich Hamlet's player there, and another few players down in the down in the ranks. Ollie obviously was injured a lot of the season, so we didn't see much of him. Um, player of the ma matches, <laughs> Brown and Galantes doing very well in that situation. Uh, I'll be honest, there isn't much to show you else uh, from what we've got here. Uh, I'm trying to find the fixtures. It's somewhere around here, I'm sure it is. Oh, it's not actually showing the playoffs for whatever reason. Don't really know why. Oh well. So whatever happened, I'll tell you what we can do. We can do this. Fixtures, Markham. They've already got a friendly in. Um Eastley, they beat Eastley 3 2 after extra time, so it's 2 2 extra time, I presume. And then they won it in that time. Uh, so really that's all I need to show you. Um obviously player stats you already know. Um I'm not sure what else to show you to be honest. Uh, that's the season. Overview, Ooh, Grayson. Uh, they're the season overviews uh, from this season. Obviously, you know most of them. Uh, so I will show you who's won 
all the leagues and what have you as you go through. And uh, I will be right back. So we're now on the Wikipedia. Um, I know I said I'd show you who's won what, but I might as well show you in this because it's on here. Uh, so Gate Ted, obviously, we I was manager. Um, average attendance is five thousand apparently this season, so we're doing pretty well. Uh, we obviously won the national uh, national league panorama. Um, first round against Rochdale loss and an FA Trophy loss against Dartford, who actually won it in the end, which is a bit of a ball ache because that probably should have been our final. But oh well. Obviously, there's the overview there, which I uh, talk about <clears throat> the people who've left and transfers and whatever but it's not that important you can read it if you want season results i'm not going to show you that because i'm not really that bothered league table obviously we finished top eastley markham ended up coming up with us in the end so unfortunately eastley missed out uh just up to the eighth position because it's not that important obviously the squad's there uh, that's that's who we've got playing for us uh, there's some pages that i still need to make uh, but just to show you, I don't think I've actually showed you any pages, so say I click on Jordan Preston, picture comes up, gives you a little bit of information about him, his profile, uh, his career, which is uh, what he's been up to uh, in his career, and all the careers always go up to the point of when they leave the club, I don't go after that because there's no point. Uh, statistics, they're always statistics um, from what he's done playing for, um, playing for Gateshead, even before um, before he played for me, and there's some references there of where I've got all the information from. Uh, so obviously that's all that done. Obviously there's loads and loads of players that have played for us each season. Uh, the transfers that we did, um, I still need to put links on them, but we'll get in there. Staff, uh, they're the staff players that we've got. Uh, awards, now this is the important bit. So in July we have uh, Thompson, August Brown, uh, September Thompson had another good one. Uh, October, Greg Ollie, and it was about the only good month he had. Um, he was pretty useless the rest of it, mainly because he was injured, unfortunately. Uh, November, Cavallo got it because he was having a nice season. I think he scored all three of his goals in that month, so that was good for him. Uh, December, Alex Lacey had a good one. January, Preston had a very good one, which is a bit of a surprise, really, but he had a very good one. Uh, February, Galantes, new signing. He had a good month. Uh, March was John McTee. He also had a good month, which is another surprising one like Preston. And in April, uh, Eddie Brown has an absolute stormer finishing up the season. <clears throat> so most most appearances was Harry Campbell with 51. Most goals, of course, was Eddie Brown. Uh, most assists was Schroer's. Uh, most yellow cards was Grayson with 13. And he also got the most red cards with two. Average rating obviously went to Eddie Brown with uh, 7.6, which is a new record for the club. Uh, I think they have to count or uh, have, have played over 10 games. So that's why... He doesn't count. I think we've had a few players that have come in for under 10 games that have done pretty well, but they don't count, unfortunately, in the records. Um, player of the season, I decided to give to Thompson, just because he's always been improving and he's been very solid and don't like to give it to a low-knee player. Uh, so I decided to give it to uh, Thompson. He had a very good year. So nine goals, eight assists from the wing. <clears throat> and to be fair, he didn't play that many games. He wasn't massively first choice, but... He had a very good season anyway. Uh, young player of the season was obviously Brown. Uh, he was a lonely, obviously, but I think I've got to give him it. 33 goals and 6 assists. Old player of the season was Scott Barrow. There was only two old players. What a class of old players. It's always 30 or over. Um, Scott Barrow uh, with one goal. Uh, it was either between him or Devadix. So I took gave it to Scott Barrow because I don't think he's won it yet. And the signing of the season is Galantes. Um, he got 14 goals and 4 assists. He was the second top scorer of the club. So he had a very good one. Uh, let's just close that tab down. Uh, team of the season, that's who we had. So we had Campbell, Stasanisic, Lacey, Oliver, Suleiman. And then the midfield's a bit weird. Both of the holding midfielders are wingers. Uh, the cam's obviously a cam. Uh, is a striker. Cavallo's also a winger. And Brown obviously had a good season. So we'll leave that there. And the other leagues, to, f to finish it off this season, uh, the Premier League was won by Liverpool, Championship by Palace, uh, League One, Fleetwood, Southend um, was the League Two winners, and we won the National League. I think from now on I won't be showing the Vanarama North or South because they're that far below that it doesn't massively matter anymore. Uh, the FA Cup was City, 
uh, Carabao was Liverpool, Community Shield was Liverpool. The Leasing.com Trophy, which I think we now get involved in, was won by Bradford. FA Trophy was Dartford, unfortunately. We, we got knocked out by them. Champions League was a bit of a surprising one. Um, SL Benfica uh, beat Barcelona. Club World Championships was Tottenham. Uh, they beat Liverpool, apparently. Don't know how that works, but I'm sure it was only one team from each continent, but oh well. Um, Super Cup was PSG. Uh, the Europa League was won by FC Porto, so a Portugal dominance. Uh, in Europe this this season, uh, so Porto and Benfica, obviously. And then the Europa League 2, which I didn't even know was a thing, was won by a uh, Polish team, Legia Warsaw. Uh, so that's the season review. Um, obviously, we'll get on to the fourth season now. Uh, we'll get in on a little bit and see how we do in the Football League. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.